I'm very excited. <laughs> big step today on the homestead farm so we are having our well drilled and we are really really hoping that we hit water without having to go too deep but they did say that this is considered a rock well because the area that we're in is really really rocky so obviously there's no guarantee for water and it's kind of hit or miss so fingers crossed that we get water today Now they're putting the casings down into the hole that they've already drilled. They hit rock, soft rock, at about 80 feet down. Um, so I'm still learning what they're doing. Kind of get you an update as we go, though. Because this is a rock well, they do have to add water down into the hole to keep their bit cooler while it's trying to drill through this rock. So some water you see coming out is just that. But at around 200 feet deep, we hit water at 10 gallons a minute. And we're going to keep drilling a little deeper. With a well, if you stop drilling when you hit water, like immediately, you might just be at like the top of the water table. And so if the natural water level drops and your well is sitting at the top of it, then you're going to have a dry well. So they're going to continue to push down into the aquifer to make sure that we have good water year round. Oh my gosh, we just hit really good water. Now they're adding the casings of the well so this goes down and holds the hole open so dirt and debris and the rocks don't just fall back in and close the well back off.
could not believe that. We ended up being 220 feet deep, but we hit water between 50 and 75 gallons a minute, which is freaking awesome. So like the normal well is like eight to 10 gallons a minute. And thankfully we didn't know this beforehand, but we ran into our neighbor the day after we drilled. He said that when he drilled his well, they went like 300 feet deep, I think is what he said. And they only got one to two gallons a minute. And our other neighbor apparently is like over 500 feet. And he probably, I think he said, had under 10 gallons a minute. And we ended up with 50 to 75 gallons a minute. So we can do whatever we need to on this homestead. We can run irrigation. We can run water all to our orchard and eventually to the greenhouse and the gardens and the animals or whatever we need to do because we have plenty of power. We were actually able to go with a bigger tank and a bigger pump so that it will support running multiple things all at once. That's just such a blessing and truly unbelievable. Like I was not able to be here for the drilling day and Austin was texting me like, um, at different intervals and so like the first hundred feet was included in the price of four thousand dollars and every foot every foot after 100 feet was eleven dollars a foot so i was like oh like what do we do like how far do we drill you know and we got to like 170 and he texted me just 170 and I'm like biting my nails off, freaking out. <laughs> I was like, does that mean we hit at 170? Or like, what's going on? Did, are we good? Like, did we get water? And he's like, no, we're just at 170 and we're still drilling. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And he calls me and he's like, okay, so at what point do we tell them to stop? Like, at what point do we say, we're out of money, stop drilling. We didn't get water, oh well. Like, that sucks every way you look at it. And so I was like, I don't know. And so we got off the phone. We were at 170 then. And so I was like, listen here, God, like we need water. Like in order to have a homestead, you have to have water. In order to have a house, you have to have water. There is no option for city water out here. So we have to have a well and we have to get water and we don't have a ton more money to keep drilling, right? And so I was like, listen, please, just let there be water. Please let us hit water. We need to hit water. We have to hit water somehow. Let there be water. And he called me back like right after I said amen. And he was like, you're never, you're not gonna believe this. We hit water. We're at 10 gallons a minute. And I was like, yes, 10 gallons a minute. Sounds awesome. Like I see water. He sends me a little video on my phone. Like there's water coming out of the ground. Like, oh my gosh. And he says that they're gonna drill a little bit, a little bit more so that when they're in the aquifer, the pipe goes further into the aquifer. And I'm like, okay, that sounds good. So they went, ended up going 20 more feet down into the aquifer, and that's when the pressure just increased, 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 and we hit 50 to 75 gallons a minute. Like, it was spewing out everywhere. It was amazing, like, I can't believe it. So they came back the next day. We've got our nice little rock here. Eventually we'll build an actual pump house. Um, and we've got the, line running over to the shed so i'll go and show you that we do have to have the water tested of course anytime you drill a new well you have the water tested so we aren't drinking it yet um it's definitely clear it has no weird smell or anything so exciting like it's really coming along so far now and obviously this is like a huge investment in just a gamble to get water we really thought we were gonna wait but in order to keep taking steps forward you, you have to have water so, check this out. I know this is like totally normal, right? It's totally normal to have water at your house. But it's super exciting to know that out of the ground, 220 feet deep, so it's, it's cold water. It, it's beautiful. This water. <laughs> like I can go water the orchard, I can water the grass if I want to. I can water the blueberries, the strawberries. <laughs> it's just so exciting. Thanks for watching guys. Please like and subscribe to help our channel grow. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let us know. Our driller handled everything from 
drilling the actual weld to hooking it up and getting it running. So that was a huge blessing to actually hire something out. I guess that's what that normally feels like. We usually do everything ourselves, but we don't have weld drilling equipment. Surprisingly, we do not have weld drilling equipment. So had to hire that one out, but it was worth it. Because again, water.